everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video we are going to learn about the numerical puzzle questions asked in the previous question papers of infosys uh, campus placement exam uh, so this numerical puzzle question is a separate section right it's not a part of aptitude anymore so it is a separate section will be asked and in the previous video we have seen one to five problems uh, five questions and in this video we are going to see four more questions and we are going to uh, close this topic so let us see the sixth problem we have here 4 2 6 5 2 8 6 1 1 right and see in this type of questions when you are given two things whatever the logic is being applied here whatever the logic is working here the same logic works here as well so first try to figure out what is the logic that is being applied here right see uh, so let's see 4 plus 2 is giving you 6 okay but 5 plus 2 is not giving you 8 right so this logic doesn't work here so 4 plus 2 plus 6 do it you'll get 12 and 5 plus 2 plus 8 will give you 15 okay 6 plus 1 plus 11 is giving you 11 plus 1 is 12 and 12 plus 6 is 18 okay see if you can observe difference of 3 15 minus 12 is 3 and again between 15 and 18 you have a difference of 3 right so let us try to observe the uh, let us try to apply the same pattern over here as well so 7 plus 5 plus something you don't know that and 8 plus 8 plus 8 will give you 24 and 9 plus 10 plus 8 9 plus 10 is 19 and 19 plus 8 will give you 27 so if you can observe the difference is 3 27 minus 3 is giving you 24 so 24 minus 3 should give you 21 right so when you add up all these three numbers which are present in the row 1 you should get a sum of 21 right you already have 7 and 5 so 7 plus 5 is 12 so what else is to be added to 12 in order to get 21 so the bracket thing will be 21 minus 12 which would be equal to 9 right so 9 would be the answer so by adding 9 uh, to 7 and 5 that is 7 plus 5 plus 9 will give you 21 which is what we are supposed to get according to our sequence right so this is how you do this problem and the next seventh problem is again a new type of problem here you give you're not given any boxes not any squares right so you're just given numbers on random basis so let us see how to solve these numbers see on seeing the number the first idea each and everyone will be getting is this is 4 square 5 square 6 square 7 square and 8 square do we have anything to do with it to be to i mean to do with that maybe you may have something to do with that but still and one more thing see it's not uh, that how i am solving that is the only way to solve that particular question this is the method that i am using you can use any other method to solve the problems right so it's completely your wish done so now so for this 16 and 14 you have to figure out a relationship and 25 and 16 you have to figure out a relationship so let us see 1 plus 6 apply plus operation here you get 7 and again 2 plus 7 you're getting 7 so 7 plus 7 is giving you 14 okay now 2 plus 5 is giving you 7 3 plus 6 is giving you 9 and 9 plus 7 is giving you 16 okay again 3 plus 6 is 9 4 plus 9 is 13 13 plus 9 is giving you 22 right and again 9 plus 4 is 13 and 6 plus 4 is 10 again 13 plus 10 is giving you 23 done so this is how you're doing this right so now let us see how to get 12 x and 9 out of these things right so yeah again let we will be applying the same logic because we have followed this logic here the same logic will be applied here as well so 1 plus 4 will give you 5 and 1 plus 6 will give you 7 so 5 plus 7 will give you 12 done worked and again here you have 16 right so 1 plus 6 is 7 and here you have 22 2 plus 2 is 4 so 7 plus 4 would give you 11 so now let us not confirm the answer as 11 because we have to check for this case as well at least one case is failing then the logic is not applicable for the entire question right so let us try it here also 2 plus 2 is 4 and 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay, 4 plus 5 is 9 and it's correct. So, 11 would be the correct answer. The logic which you have applied here is also correct. So, for this question, the answer is 11. Okay, 
so you might be feeling it complicated but no it's very easy if you start practicing if you practice number of questions you will be able to solve these type of questions really 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 very easily okay so the next is uh, the next eighth problem we are going to see is it's a very simple problem it's like you know a uh, simple you know number series problem it is because the difference between 72 and 69 is 3 69 and 64 the difference is 5 and 64 and 57 the difference is 7 right is it 7 or no let us see wait yeah it's 7 4 and 3 here 7 and 57 and 48 it's 9 so if you can observe you're following all the odd numbers here see by looking at 3 5 7 you may be uh, like wondering that maybe it's a prime number series but here as you got 9 so it's not a prime number series so here instead of 9 if you have uh, if you would have got 11 then you should consider prime number series but no you got 9 no so it is following the odd number series so the next number should be 11 here that means 48 minus 11 will give you the answer 48 minus 11 is 37 right so here in the place of question mark you'll have 37 understood so difference is an odd number so consecutive odd numbers are the difference between the two two numbers right so this is about the eighth problem and let us go for the ninth question and let's uh, you know stop the video here the ninth question is also very simple but here you don't have any uh, connections right so this is one separate uh, thing and this is one separate thing whatever the logic is applying here so the same logic will be applied here as well so whatever the logic you're applying here that is what you have to try to figure it out first so in this case like you may get the answer by adding these two things by adding these two things and uh, subtracting the sum of these two numbers from these two or these two or maybe diagonally anything will work out right so you have to check out in all the other ways i mean in all the ways which you're getting the answer so here in this case of this problem you will be getting the answer by diagonals right let us see how do you get it by diagonals see 101 101 plus 15 15 minus 43 plus 35 101 plus 15 will give you 116 minus 43 plus 85 would give you 78 right 116 minus 78 will give you 16 minus 8 38 you will be getting the answer as 38 okay so you'll be getting the answer as 38 so 38 is what you have here right in middle right and so you have added these two diagonals these two diagonal elements and subtracted so here also the same logic works out so 48 plus 184 minus 34 plus 56 would give you the answer so what is 48 plus 184 you get you'll get something like 232 minus 34 plus 56 would give you 60 90 so 232 minus 90 if you do you will be getting 142 right so 142 would be in the middle Right, so you are adding these two diagonal elements, these two diagonal elements, and you're subtracting the result. So this is how you did. So not only these are problems, not only these model problems, you have n number of problems related to numerical puzzles. So I'll try to search some problems and also uh, like you know if you want more and more problems, let me I mean text me on my Instagram or on my Gmail. I'll try to provide more and more problems for you for your practice purpose, which are asked in the previous question papers. And so yeah, that's all for this video. Uh, so I hope the video was useful for you and start solving the problems. Not just listening the videos would be enough because in the exam, you will not listen the videos. In the exam, you will not be asked whether you are understanding what is being taught in the videos or not. You will be asked to uh, solve all those problems on your own, right? So start solving, do the problems, try to analyze, try to identify the tricks, be fast. You can be fast only if you start solving. So that's all for this video. If you still having any doubts, let me know in the comment section. And also, 
like the video if you have understood it clearly and also subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed and also share it with your friends so that it will be useful for your friends as well and that's all for this video let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic i'm going to explain about the pseudo codes in the next coming video right so let's meet up soon in that video with the concept of pseudo codes